Iron Man water slide. Yay! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pssh. See? Look at how nice it is tucked away into that little mountain. That's perfect, man. I love my base so far. How is it going, guys? Mr. Jangles here. And I'm bringing you my third installment of... Attack of the B team, and of course it's got to start raining as soon as I start recording. Of course, let's get over here so the noise goes away. But yeah, so what we're gonna do today mm, 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 is not hump the air. We are going to make a little tree farm. I need a ton of carpenter's blocks for the project over in the uh, scrublands or whatever the hallelujah it's called. Let's go find out what's it called. What's it called? Of course, I'm not close enough to figure it out. Icy hills question mark okay so oh okay so basically I'm gonna clear out I'm gonna make it in the basement because there's just no there's not enough room upstairs in the trees for in the actual tree base for a nice uh, sized tree farm because I want to make it fairly large I'm gonna be going to town uh, fully automated you know harvester planter sludge boiler power sources and stuff I haven't really messed with too much power stuff and not, not a lot of automation myself because I don't know I'm just kind of new at it I've never really messed with it before and it's dark again sorry guys and it's gonna be a new experience I mean fairly new experience I've been playing a lot of um, agrarian skies on my own like by myself without uploading because I don't know. I just don't think that's going to be interesting enough to upload because it's a lot of just grind and grind and grind. But it taught me a lot of things about automation that I didn't know already. So basically, and we did a little bit of building over at the um, at the dinosaur area where we're going to put our dinos. Um, nothing really huge to report though. Nothing special. So I'm not going to show you. I'm, I might just take a take a walk over there after we're done setting up the tree farm just to show you what I did and. But let me clear out a nice sized area, big enough for, you know, at least, you know, I'd say about, you know, 10 to 16 trees. If it's fully automatic, it, it should, that should be a good enough size. And I will be right back with you. All right. And just a little bit of an update so you know I'm doing the dang thing pretty good. Um, I went through a pick already, one of my Tinker Tink Tink picks. Kind of stinks, but whatever. Speaking of Tinker's Construct, I forgot to tell you. I went through and I made myself an OP sword. Look at this thing. 27 attack damage. That's 14 hearts of damage this thing does on a single swing. Let's see if I can test it out on anybody. Come on. Come on, little babies. All these stupid jungly spiders. Well, these guys are stinks. Because they, they will chase you to the end of the earth. One hot, I can basically one hit every mob. This thing is super overpowered. I love it. It's the Cutlass, and um, has fully maxed out on quartz, except for one modifier to the auto repair. So I don't have to ever worry about gathering up any manuli, manulium, manulium, whatever the heck it's called, in order to repair it. So. Yeah, just a little quick update so you guys know what is going on. And I will hopefully be back once this room is fully cleared out. The heck with this. I'm not mining anymore. Well, I'm not mining it at all anymore. We're going to do some TNT work. I am sick and tired of these snakes on a plane. Let's get this going. I'm going to have some fun with it. Oh, there's I, I put some down there. Let's put some more down there. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Let's enclose that a little bit. I want to make a nice little chain reaction, though. I'm terrible at this, and normally I end up killing myself. So let me place a bunch of TNT, and we're going to have some fun. All right, and I think we're just about ready, but the one thought I had was, what if one of these TNTs gets thrown, comes in here, and destroys my storage system? I've had it happen before, not necessarily destroying my storage system, but destroying... A lot of stuff that I had worked hard on building. So let's just block this off just a little bit really quick. Just to prevent any derpy failness. And let's take some damage too. Let's eat some pork chops and let's blow some stuff up. I think I got enough in here that it will do some damage. 
Oh no, I can't put that there. How about we put it on this? Okay, um, let's light this one. Maybe this one, and then I'll run, and I'll light that one too. Oh, not a good place to land. Ow. Oh, that took out a nice chunk. See? Look at how nice and easy that is. Mr. Jingles, mining like a boss. Don't fall in there. Oh, shoot. Creeper, you can blow up if you want. You want to blow up? There we go. Look at <laughs> He's even helping me. Look at I'm not even mad at him. All right. Okay, I'm taking too much damage right now. <gasps> See? See how that launched over at me? Like a little cannon. Um, so yeah, that looks like we're just about done. I'm just gonna leave it just like this. No, not really. Boom. Boom. Oh, I didn't know there was like 16 more in there. Okay. That looks like it. I mean, I can cl I'm gonna clear up the rest of this by hand. And then that should be us done with this little room. I'll probably take it down to maybe this level. So maybe I'll blow up a couple more little spots. But I'll do that off camera. Um, and then we will be right back. And we should have our things going for, or at least some of the stuff ready, for our tree farm. And here it is. My beautiful big room. Just finished. And I'll tell you what. It looks like it's going to suit what we need perfectly um i set up a little bit of tree farm probably along this side right around here maybe along the back wall like maybe just half of it because then i'm gonna need some automation stuff to go right here that won't take that much room up but i just don't want to plant it right next to my little stairwell going down and then have trees get in my way and stuff you know what i'm saying so basically there it is done I'm going to go craft me up some of the things that I'm going to need. All right. Now, laggity lag lag. What is going on? Hey, knock it off. Okay. I don't know exactly where I want to set all this up. I just made everything. I said, screw it. Make it all. Get it done. Um, I'm going to go with a basic power setup for now. Oh, forgot that was there. That could have been dangerous. Give me some stuff. Yeah, let me just get some limestone. All right. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a little steam power station. I know there are more efficient ways to do it. Trust me, I know. Just for all intents and purposes, because I'm fairly new at doing automated stuffs. Oh, crap. Hold on a second. Let me do this a little bit smarter just because I don't want to run into any problemos down the line let me go ahead and or any like space issues I want to I want as little water showing as possible because I, I don't know I just don't think it looks that pretty all right now where's my aqueous accumulator where'd it go aqueous accumulator am I blind am I not seeing it there it is, jeepers. Okay, we're gonna toss that down right there. And then that guy's gonna fill up because I don't need to power him. He does not need any power. Okay, and then I'm gonna, hopefully I'm gonna do this right. And then this guy's gonna fill up, right? And this guy's gonna stay filling up, yeah. And then all this guy needs now to create power is some coal. Do I have my wrench? Yes, I do. And if you shift, right click, you get that. Like that. See how see how fancy that went? Okay, let me see if I can No. Can you place this thing sideways? I thought you could. Let me see. I put that there. And then I get this back. But mm. maybe you can't put it sideways. Or maybe I'm just failing on camera for the win. Alright, I figured it out. See, where I was setting it up before over here, 
That's not even close to being in the middle. I need this thing in the middle so it can apparently suck everything up. Um, so I want to drop down my aqueous accumulator right here. Make sure that thing's getting water. Okay. Put my steam dynamo right on top of it. Make sure that thing is getting water. Okay. Stationary tropics water. What? That's weird. And basically, this is where my harvester is going to go. And he, this bad boy, doesn't go like that. Right clicking on something you place actually makes you be able to flip it around. And then, if I were to put power to this, it would power this, and this thing would start going. Ch -ch 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 -ch. But I'm not in the business of wasting power right now because. I'm like I said I'm fairly new at the whole power automation coolness that's where we're sitting right now we got this I got my little manual reload center for my coal or wood coal whatnot um I think I already said it maybe not that I know there's a way to like feed stuff into this I do believe but I'm not at that point of my uh career where I know how to do that so I'm just gonna leave it like this and then basically what I can also do is what I will do right now is actually power this thing up a little bit little bit it's not making power yeah well, now we go oh yeah that's right it goes to halfway then it starts making power and then I'm gonna need more coal and then once I have that thing powered I'm gonna charge up my energy cell because that thing is going to be I'm gonna need that uh, let's just get a whole stack even though I was right down there and I could have just uh, probably grabbed it out of the chest why not just make use of this coolness so yeah that's where we're sitting right now I'm gonna throw down the harvester I'm gonna charge up my redstone let no not redstone redstone energy cell is a little little too complex right now I need a fluid transposer and I do not know what that even whoa hey there buddy Okay, well, get killed. Um, I wonder where he spawned. There's nothing really too dark around here. Anyways, so, how, how are we doing? I'm power right now. Let's throw a whole stack of coal in there for now. And, looks like we're doing pretty good. So then we put this. I thought we could put that on there. No? Leadstone energy cell frame. Oh, there's a, there's a, mm, mm hmm. I need the frame. Did I just go through this? Did I just, oh my goodness. Okay, let me make that real thing. Let me charge up this and then I'll get everything set up. Isn't this just a beautiful scenery? Oh, Spidey. All right, guys, we are back and ready to show you the entire build. I ended up moving the, the harvester, the steam dynamo, all that fun stuff to the middle because I was putting over here and I said I wanted the trees probably in the back half because, um, you know, take up less room. I have some space here to play with some stuff. And I did keep the uh, power system in over here because I am I put the induction an induction smelter and a pulverizer over here in case I want to do something with that so let's head down there I'll show you a little bit as much as I can explain it's kinda of tough to explain I've been finding um but oh we got one we got one grown there we go look at it go so quick makes the sludge sends the sludge all the all the um I have underneath here I've got these item ducks and they transport all the wood and the apples into this chest right here and you do that there's like if you put pneumatic servos into the output parts the output into the chest or input into the chest I should say um, you can you can like select a filter and it will put just what you want into the chest and then I also have an item duct probably running underneath here going all the way over here to this little guy right here a planter um, and that's oh yeah upgrade diamond yep that is set to only accept saplings so all the saplings go into the planter and all the um, all the wood and apples go into there 
Also, all the sludge goes right back here. I don't know if this guy has anything in it. Nope. Um, after he harvests, he pumps all the sludge through these liquid ducts or fluid ducts into a sludge boiler. And then eventually, once that boils everything off, you get all this fun stuff. I got full stack of mud balls, a bunch of clay, some netherrack even. That's, that's netherrack and mycelium are the rare ones. Um, so that's pretty cool. And I put it in the wall because I think it said three blocks. So one, two, three, and then you won't get the effects because if you stand too close to a sludge boiler while it's boiling, you get like poisoned and slowed and dead. And there goes another one. Um, yeah, so this thing is fairly efficient. The only thing that's left to do is to figure out how to pump out some of the logs into like maybe like a little sawmill setup over here. And the sawmill will chop it all, choppity chop, all the way down into some planks, actually six planks. And then you can funnel those or pipe those, I'm pretty sure, into the steam dynamo. And that will allow you to, you know, have like a limitless supply of energy and it will be fully automated. I don't have to go down there and throw any more uh, coal or anything in there. So, yeah, pretty quick, pretty, you know, profitable. Got like almost five stacks of uh, oak wood already and this thing's only been running for maybe not even a half hour and I'm pretty sure there are ways to like grow these dudes faster maybe like a watering thing I don't I don't remember but yeah that is pretty much the harvester setup all done yep induction smelter pulverizer and that setup also um, I can I've only got one piece of coal other than that boy but that is that is it pretty cool huh so uh, there was one more thing i wanted to do and now i don't recall what yeah I, I ended up getting rid of the leadstone energy cell i made it i ended up getting rid of it because why why have a buffer of an energy cell when you can just pipe the stuff that's that's when i discovered the leadstone energy conduits and you can just pump the um, energy straight into the item i didn't even know about that so yeah there was one more thing that I wanted to go over. And now I'm having mental breakdown and I can't remember what it was. All right, now that my mental brain lapse is gone, I remember what I wanted to also say, talk about. This little tool right here, this precision sledgehammer. He's key because if you go into these things, um, they have like a radius of just like three by three in front of the machine and the planter is like a three by three square so like one two three or maybe it's like one two three i don't remember but i know it's just a small radius around the planter and the harvester so what you got to do is you got to craft up these these upgrades and that allows you i did just the diamond one i could have done emerald which i do believe is further yeah 11 but the di oh no platinum diamond does a radius increase of nine which let me just go ahead and show you that a radius of nine is more than enough for what I need that's the radius of nine for the harvester and the radius of nine for the planter way more than enough so I just got to make sure I don't put any dirt in these radiuses right here so it doesn't plant any more trees so basically that's that's all that is and then, once it's daytime, we can go take a trip over to the dino area. Yes, let's fall. We can take a trip over to the dino area, and then we can I can show you the little tiny one only thing that I've built so far. I didn't do anything really over there except for one small little structure. That All right, I said the heck with waiting until daytime. And I don't actually have a bed set up yet, so yeah, winning. But, look at all these creeps. Anyways, this is kind of what I built so far. I built a little structure here. I kind of wanted like two pillars going up at this canyon. Because this is going to be like the full on... Oh, that's a cool hat. Give me that hat. I want it. Thank you. Um, I wanted kind of like a little... Kind of an, an impressive entryway to the entire thing. Because then I'll have like a road 
going through here, little aesthetics going on, and I'll probably cut into this mountain instead of going over it, and then we'll be right there at the village. So I terraformed this a little bit. It still needs a little work. See, that's kind of all blocked off and stuff, looking like poo. Yeah, what do you, what do you, let me know if you see, if you're watching this, let me know uh, what you think about these pillars. I thought, I think they look pretty cool. A lot of texture, even though they're one solid type of block. It's too, I literally, I spent quite some time on these things to make them look, you know, kind of how I want, kind of what I was going for. Get out of here. Jeez, look at all these fools. Batty killing 101. Hey, skeletons first. Oh, I'm almost dead. Wow. Let's just eat some food. I'm probably out of food. Yup. <laughs> Anyways, so that's pretty much it for this episode. Um, Like I said, let me know what you think about the pillars. If you're watching this and you want to know how to build a tree farm similar to that, I could put up a, like a let's build type thing and showcase that a little bit. That'll do it for this episode, guys. I appreciate the support you got for me, and I will see you in the next episode where we are going to start building our compound. I'm I'm pretty excited because that's that's a project that I really want to get started on. Let me get that hat too. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.